Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this review is the decal set for the War for Cybertron Siege Netflix Decepticon Mirage. And this decal set includes one decal sheet on vinyl backing. And that's actually a pretty big decal sheet. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Netflix Mirage both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, the Netflix Decepticon Mirage looks awesome. I love the color scheme on this guy. He just looks so evil with the blue, the purples, the blacks. He's got the battle scuffing here on the front and up here on the spoilers. He just really looks cool. I like the silver rims with the black tires. And another thing I really like about this Mirage, no translucent plastic. The original Siege Mirage had translucent plastic pretty much covered this entire area here. Not this guy. This guy looks great. Really, really awesome looking vehicle. I dig it. And the wheels, wheels look great too with the silver rims, the black tires. Of course, you got the faux front here on the back with a big Decepticon logo. But yeah, I really, really dig this. This figure here was the only Netflix deluxe that I wanted. I just really dug the uh, evil Mirage. I just thought it was really cool. So there you go, guys. One final look at Mirage in vehicle mode before. And after. Mirage now has more of a cohesive look thanks to Toy Hacks. He has brand new purple decals that go over the entire midsection of the vehicle with some added red striping and some Cybertronian writing there on the side, up here below the cockpit, down here on the front of the vehicle. He's got brand new decals and along the front spoiler. I also added a Decepticon logo right here. This was originally supposed to be for the robot mode to cover the Decepticon logo on the faux chest, but I thought that looked good enough. He did not have a Decepticon logo in vehicle mode, so I slapped that on there and took an X-Acto knife right down the middle. He also gets weapon pods, or excuse me, rocket pods. They're underneath the rear spoiler. The spoiler itself gets new bluish decals with red striping and Cybertronian writing up there on top. Down here on the side, you got more Cybertronian decals right there. And that's about it. That really changes the looks of Mirage in vehicle mode. So there you go, guys. One final look at Mirage in vehicle mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Mirage has a lot of his color scheme carry over from vehicle mode. And I think it looks great. I really love the color scheme on Mirage. It makes him look like a completely different character. Taking a closer look at the robot mode, he now has some really nice beady yellow eyes, big Decepticon logo there on the chest, got some of the battle damage there on the arms, down here on what I like to call the underwear, some battle damage there on the legs. I really like the looks of this figure. I think he looks awesome. And that collar scheme just really, really works. Lots of nice molded detail, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what Toy Hacks can add to this guy. So there you go, guys. One final look at Netflix Mirage before and after. Mirage's robot mode also benefits from some Toy Hacks decals. Taking a closer look at the figure, he's got brand new red decals right there on the shoulder pylons. New silver decals right there on the chest and some purple and red decals right there to kind of break up that faux spoiler. 
You also see the missile pods, which are now on the shoulders. Now there were the options. You could have these purple, silver, and blue shoulders or the missile pods. I decided since I'm making this Mirage a Decepticon, we're going to give him some more weapons. That brings into the uh, Decepticon logo I talked about earlier. There is an option where you can give him a purple Autobot logo instead or the Decepticon one. I decided to keep you in the Decepticon and put that logo on vehicle mode. Down here on the faux spoiler, he gets more Cybertronian decals on the forearms, some silver, red, and black decals. And down here on the legs, you see the decals have carried over from vehicle mode, including the Cybertronian detailing there on the legs. So there you go, guys. One final look at Mirage in robot mode after. The Toy Hacks design team once again knocked it out of the park with their decal set for the Netflix Decepticon Mirage. It really adds a lot of personality to this figure, which I already thought was great. Now, granted, I like the robot mode decals a lot better than the vehicle mode, and I can't really explain it because there are a lot of the same decals that carry over. I just think the robot mode works a lot better. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!